now all eyes are on a bill that could allow teachers and other staff members to carry a concealed handgun on school property. And right now that bill is on hold in the House, but already passed the Senate. So here's how it would work. A school employee would be required to get 40 hours of additional training, complete a background check, and get a psychological evaluation. They also must get the approval of the school principal, superintendent, and law enforcement. Today, our Marissa Sulik tried to get answers about when it might actually be put on the House floor. With the end of session drawing near, we have like a week of session left. For Hume Fogg High School senior Soraya Shaw and other student protesters, it's crunch time. Everything's going through really quickly. They're also not really telling us when a bill is going to be heard, so we've been fighting constantly every single day for the past week. They are trying to stop a bill that could arm teachers. Last week, the sponsor of the bill in the House, Representative Ryan Williams, told us he plans to take it off the desk before the end of session. When we checked with him today, hey, Representative Williams, do you have a second by chance? We didn't get a response. But Covenant school mom Sarah Shoup Newman had one from 5,000 Tennesseans for him. She, along with other moms, wrote this letter and had thousands sign it. I don't think we'll be surprised. They know that this is where I stand. Um, I think it could, you know, have good potential for actual security people to do this if we put those restrictions for actual security people, not teachers. Shoup Newman says she worked with Senator Paul Bailey in the Senate to put certain items into the bill like field training and notifying the principal. I didn't get a chance to meet with Representative Williams until pretty close to the end of session, so I feel like that didn't give a lot of time to adjust the bill or do that, but I hope that he is still open to it. Let's keep the gun from ever getting to the schoolhouse door. As for these high school students, they continue to reach out to representatives they believe could swing the vote. I think I would be pretty devastated. Not only have I just poured so much time and effort into fighting this this last week, and I know so many students have poured so much of their heart and soul into advocating against this bill. In Nashville, Marissa Sulek, WSNV4.